What's happening? We're gonna get right into what you came here for. So here's what you're gonna need to set up your TP-Link portable wireless router. Now this model can be used as a router or an extender, AKA repeater. And we're using it as a repeater, of course. It's gonna boost and expand the range of the Wi-Fi signal being routed through it. You'll need the micro USB cable that comes with the repeater, a power bank, I have two different options here, but pretty much any will do, your smartphone, and that bad little Tello drone. Now I did a video on the Xiaomi Mi repeater like three years ago, and folks are still watching that video but the repeater is very hard to find these days, if at all. So I'm hooking y'all up again. Thank me with a like, a subscribe, a share of the video, a coffee, a comment, something y'all. <laughs> now nah, just watching the video, the entire video is actually cool with me too. Okay, we're starting with the Tello first. We're gonna get the Tello prepped for the repeater. Now, if you have a password set and you forgot the password, you're gonna need to reset the Tello. And to do that, while the Tello is already powered on, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. And then you'll see the, the LED light will, I'll just show you, how about that? Showing is better than telling. Okay, so the Tello was powered on and that yellow light or amber light is flashing. We're just gonna press and hold the power button for 10 seconds, okay? And you'll see that indicator light go out and it basically resets. And we can see that that amber light is flashing again. Okay, so here we are in the settings. We're gonna locate the Tello Wi-Fi signal and we're gonna connect. All right, let's go out to the Tello app now. Okay, here we are in the Tello app. Let's go ahead and hit this gear icon to get into the settings. Let's click on Wi-Fi and you can see the Wi-Fi name there. You're gonna need to rename the Wi-Fi to something without special characters. And that hash mark is actually considered a special character. Otherwise, the router may have trouble connecting to it. So uh, nothing like uh, exclamation points or anything like that. So I'm gonna actually rename mine GI Tello. What else would it be, y'all? Okay, now for the password, I'm just gonna make this very simple. No need to make it super fancy. Now, you see what it's gonna ask? It's gonna ask you to restart. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna restart the Tello, and your indicator lights on the Tello tell you the story of what's happening, okay? Now, I know it did a restart, but we're gonna actually power down the Tello ourselves. So hit the power button, okay? We're gonna come out of the app, power the Tello back on, and we're gonna go back to the settings just to make sure we can connect using that password now. There we go, there's GI Tello. Now we're gonna enter our password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Join. Booyah! All right, let's go back to the Tello app and we should be in the game. Looks like we are connected. Okay, your Tello is prepped and ready to go. Next step. Okay, now we gotta prep the repeater. Now, you're gonna need a power source. So you can either use the uh, power bank, and this one is uh, 8,000 milliamp hours, by the way, so it's a nice size. But you're, you can e either use the power bank or uh, the repeater actually comes with a wall adapter, so you could just plug this in the wall for the setup. Um, it is portable, so when you're out and about, you would obviously use your um, power bank, but you don't have to do it for the setup. But for the sake of this video, that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so we're just gonna plug this joker in. Okay, now you'll know that the repeater is powered on when you see the flashing green LED right here. Okay, now we need to go back to the settings in our phone and we're gonna connect to the repeater's Wi-Fi signal and it'll be TP-Link with some numbers, letters and numbers, probably four digit numerical um, code at the end there. There's mine. Now. The password that you need to enter is actually on the bottom of the repeater. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter mine. Hit join. Okay, that's ready to go. Now, you're gonna need to open a browser and you need to go to tplinkwifi.net. You see that there? tplinkwifi.net. 
Okay, the username and password are going to be admin. Both of them are going to be admin. And that's actually on the bottom of the repeater as well. But we'll just put admin in here. Whoops, if I can select it. I already did this, so we're just going to use my face ID to get on in here. Okay, so you're going to want to select quick setup if it hasn't started there for you. But as you can see, when I open mine up, it's already on the quick setup uh, section. So we're going to hit next. Just going to step through this. Now at this point, it's going to um, allow you to change the password from that uh, the one that's on the bottom of the repeater. You can do that if you want. I never do. All right. Now it has different operation modes, like I mentioned in the opening. We're going to be using it as a range extender. So go ahead and select that. Hit next. All right. Now. You're gonna to need to power on the Tello because this is uh, this is where the repeater is going to search for that signal. Okay. Now you may have to hit refresh, like I'm gonna to have to do here before it comes up. Okay, there it is, GI Tello, and you're just gonna click on connect here. All right. Now on this screen, what you need to do is you need to enter the password for your Tello right here okay one two three four five six seven eight okay and then right here where it says customize click on that and now you will see what this is doing it's actually cloning the Wi-Fi signal from the Tello and you know it's cloned because it has this EXT at the end okay that's all you have to do here then hit next this next screen you don't need to do anything here but hit next all right, now this is just giving you a summary of what you've entered. You don't need to do anything here, but click finish. And now the system is rebooting. Once it reaches reaches 100, you're all set. You will know that the repeater is successfully connected to the Tello when that green LED light stays solid. Now, what might happen uh, I've had this happen a couple of times when I was testing this to make sure it was working. When it gets to 100, it's going to give you an error. It may. We'll say it may give you an error. It's giving me an error every time. Disregard that. If you see a solid LED light on the repeater, you were successful. So that's your indicator. So let's see what happens here. There you go. So you can see what happens. This happens every time uh, to me. Um, but nonetheless, you will see that this was successful. So if you see that, disregard it. Uh, make sure that LED on the repeater is solid green and you're good to go, baby. Okay, next thing you're gonna wanna do is power down the repeater. So unplug the repeater, power down the Tello. So we're just gonna power off the Tello. Now make sure when you power that power down and power on the Tello that you're not holding down that power button because you could reset the Tello. Just push it one time. That should be good enough. Okay, we're almost there, you guys. Now the great thing about this is you only have to do it once. You will need to reset the repeater if you want to use it for a different drone or device. And the reset button is right here. You would just stick something in there hold it down uh, until you see the LED light, LED light go out just hold it down and then that'll reset it and then you can um, connect it to a different device or drone alright let's get to this last step so we're gonna power on the repeater now so power that baby on let's power on the Tello as well pressing the button and then let's go over to the settings and what we're looking for now, we're looking for GI Tello EXT, baby. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and connect. And we have to put in that password. And you should only have to do this once. Okay. Don't freak out if that happens. Sometimes there's a little bit of, la of a lag. Um, or it takes a while for the devices to power up. So we're going to try it again. We can already see that that LED light is green. So let's wait till we get our signal. Let's try that again. 
Boom. Live TV, y'all. This better work. <laughs> okay, we got our check mark. Let's go out to the Tello app now. And look at there. We're all connected, baby. What's the next step now, Gadget Inspector? Now you're ready to fly your Tello to the moon, baby. To the moon! One, two, booster ignition and liftoff. Now remember, it's best to position the repeater as high as you can and you actually want to position it in between yourself and the Tello when you're out in the field. Okay, you guys, that's it for the setup. I'll probably do another video on range, so stay on the lookout for that. Also, I'll leave links in the description box to where you can find the repeater. It's out there on Amazon, the Tello if you don't already have one, and I'll also leave some links to some good um, power banks um, for you to uh, check out as well. And as always, be good to somebody. Be good to yourself. See y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching the whole video, y'all. Later.